Potter's Yard was home to Jim and Helen Ead and their collection of artworks. Jim and Helen were friends with many artists. They valued their thoughts and responses to the world we live in, something Kettle's Yard continues to value to this day. Hi there, my name is Sandra Scott and I'm a textile artist and I'd like to tell you about another textile artist whose name is Faith Ringgold. Faith Ringgold is 89 years old and lives in America. She's a painter, a sculptor, a writer, and a performance artist. She's best known for her art quilts, which tell stories about her life. And it is one of these quilts and a book that she wrote that will be the inspiration for our project. Carbage is about is a story about a little girl who lived in a block of flats. During the summer it would get very hot and in the evening she and her family would go to the top of the building and they would take food and games and they would relax and have a good time there. While she was there she would lie on a blanket and imagine that she could fly. Imagine you could fly. Imagine flying over the houses, trees, buildings, over the sea. How are you flying? Do you have your arms outstretched in front of you like a superhero? Or to the sides like a plane? Or close to your body? Where are you? What can you see? to draw a picture of yourself flying, flying in a space where you imagine. Begin with pencil, just a pencil drawing and a bit of paper. You can have your paper in portrait position like this or landscape position. It doesn't really matter. All I want you to do is to draw a picture of yourself flying. Think about the position of you. Where will you be? When you're flying, it tends to be to the top of the page. So think carefully, carefully about where you put yourself before you put in the rest of the drawing. For mine, I imagine I'm flying in the sky. So I have put myself towards the middle and I have some clouds in my picture, the sun, and I'm doing it all lightly. Some birds, down here a few more clouds. And once I've done with that, I can have, I will have a, a lovely pencil drawing, but if I want to take it a bit further, I can. So this is a picture done by Phoebe Johnson, my granddaughter. And as you can see, she started to add some color. She's flying above some houses and she's put details in like satellite dishes, windows and, and some birds flying. And this time she's flying just in the clouds and she's used paint. So there's the sun, she's painted her clothing and her hair and she's given her face some details. And this is another one that I'm just about beginning where I'm using the wax crayons and adding some color to make to complete my picture so by the end of this you will have you have several different approaches and several different pieces of art to work from okay this is another direction that you can take your piece of art I have here my portrait of myself flying which I cut from my another piece of paper so I drew it on another piece of paper and then I cut it out and over here I also have some other bits of paper that I've colored in with crayons you can use pastels or wax crayons or both and these colored bits of paper are going to be used to create a collage 
you'll also need some glue a glue stick or just a PVA if you have that and what you're going to do is you're going to tear your paper and create a background so instead of drawing you will be creating your background with the blue with the colored uh, paper that you made and then you will glue those into place completely cover your page I'm only going to show you a bit and once you've done that you glue them in you glue them down and you're creating a new background this is going to be like the sky for me you could even put the sun in if you want I'm going to show you when I've finished so I'm spreading my glue stick over my paper and I'm going to glue these all into place creating my skyscape now notice I use two different colored bits of overlapping them slightly and it doesn't matter if there's a bit of white showing I think those could be stratus clouds I think the variety of colors here and tones add make it a bit more exciting so your collage then becomes unique beautifully with your portrait of yourself flying. Choosing to cut it out rather than I'll put it here because I have a bit of a space left and I can have the rays of the sun floating. the sun and there you go my collage created using colored papers torn and glued onto a background Thank you for taking part in this virtual workshop inspired by Faith Ringgold for Black History Month. I hope you enjoy creating.